Yeah, Vice President Mike Pence arrived here in Birmingham around 3 o'clock. Air Force Two landed. If you take a look over my left shoulder, you can still see Air Force Two sitting on the tarmac here at the 117th Air Refueling Wing. Uh, this is the north side of the Birmingham Airport. Now, as the Vice President exited the uh, airplane, he was greeted by Governor Kay Ivey and Wing Commander Colonel Scott Grant. The VP spent a few minutes shaking hands with supporters who had waited probably 30 minutes to an hour for a chance to have their picture taken with him. And then after he, he shook some hands and took some uh, selfies, he uh, boarded a limousine to leave the airport to attend a fundraiser. Now, he's in town for a, an event sponsored by the National Republican Senatorial Committee. The uh, group raises money to uh, try and hold on to the Republican majority in the U.S. Senate. Now, this is Vice President Pence's second visit to Alabama in the last 13 months. He visited the Redstone Arsenal in Hunts Huntsville back on September 25th, 2017, to tour new rocket technology to send astronauts to Mars. On that same day, he also made a stop here in Birmingham to campaign for Luther Strange in his failed U.S. Senate race. Now, at the very end of the visit here at the airport, uh, Vice President Pence talked about immigration reform. He talked about how he loved visiting Alabama and its people, and he gave uh, Governor Kay Ivey a quasi-endorsement at the very end of his, his short talk, saying that he hopes the people of Alabama elect her. We'll have more from Governor Kay Ivey on the Vice President's visit coming up at 5. Reporting live in Birmingham, John Papke, WVTM 13. The vice president now at a Republican event. Yeah, I want to get out to WVTM 13's Erin Kelly. She joins us live at the Westin in downtown Birmingham. Erin. Yeah, we know Vice President Pence is already in the building behind me. It's not clear how long he'll stay here. Traffic was blocked off on a few streets around here. It remains blocked off. We have some video from the last hour as the Vice President's motorcade passed through Birmingham. Police had blocked off several streets in the area. It was a short trip to here at the Westin. Uh, we know that Secretary of State of Alabama John Merrill made a brief appearance, and I've learned from an attendee, Congressman Bradley Byrne and Gary Palmer are also here tonight. Again, this is a private event here at the Westin, and we will be uh, bringing you the latest later tonight. For now, we're live in Birmingham. Aaron Kelly, WVTM 13. Hey, Aaron, thank you. We'll keep following the vice president's visit to Birmingham. You can always download our WVTM 13 mobile app for updates.